Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Volume 1. Chapter 6. Putana Killed After consulting with his demonic ministers, Kamsa instructed a witch named Putana to kill all kinds of children in the cities, villages, and pasturing grounds. Putana entered the county of Gokula, dressing herself just like a beautiful woman, and all the residents of Vrindavan were captivated, and therefore she freely entered the house of Nanda Maharaj. Putana was immediately aware that the child whom she was observing in the house of Nanda Maharaj was the Supreme Personality of Godhead himself. Krishna showed the nature of a small baby and closed his eyes. Putana came to Krishna just to offer her breast for the Lord to suck. Krishna is so merciful that even though he knew Putana was there to kill him, he took her as his nurse or mother. When the baby Krishna closed his eyes, Putana took him on her lap. She did not know that she was holding death personified. Putana had smeared a very powerful poison on her breast, and immediately after taking the baby on her lap, she pushed her breastly nipple within his mouth. She was hoping that as soon as he would suck her breast, he would die. But baby Krishna sucked the milk poison along with the life air of the demon. Krishna simultaneously sucked the milk from her breast and killed her by sucking out her life. And because the demon was killed by Krishna, she got liberation. When Krishna sucked out her very breath, Putana fell down on the ground, spread her arms and legs and began to cry. Oh child, leave me, leave me. She was crying loudly and perspiring and her whole body became wet. Thus the nightmare of the Putana witch was over and she assumed her real feature as a great demon. She opened her fierce mouth and spread her arms and legs all over. The long hair on her head was scattered all over her body. Her fallen body extended up to 12 miles and smashed all the trees to pieces. All the coward men and women became struck with awe and wonder upon seeing this. When the gopis saw little Krishna fearlessly playing on Putana's lap, they very quickly came and picked him up. They could not understand that Krishna was the Supreme Personality of Godhead, playing as a child. Mother Yashoda took Krishna and let him suck her own breast. After this, all the residents of Braj cut the gigantic body of Putana into pieces and piled it up with wood for burning. When all the limbs of Putana's body were burning, the smoke emanating from the fire created a good aroma. This aroma was due to her being killed by Krishna. This means that the demon Putana was washed of all her sinful activities and attained a celestial body. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is all good. Putana came to kill Krishna, but because he sucked her milk, she was immediately purified. She attained salvation because she gave her milk to him to drink. This is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, Swalpam Apyasya Dharmasya. Devotional service in Krishna consciousness is so sublime that even a little service to Krishna, knowingly or unknowingly, gives one the greatest benefit. But if simply by offering something as an enemy, Putana got so much benefit, then who can measure the benefit of worshiping Krishna in love and affection? Nanda Maharaj came home and immediately took up the child on his lap. He was quite satisfied that his little child was saved from this great calamity. Srila Sukadev Goswami has blessed all persons who hear the narration of the killing of Putana by Krishna. They will surely attain the favor 